hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and if you are new to our channel then i would like to tell you that we create videos on salesforce scripts tricks and tutorials and today we are going to learn about a very useful feature for a flow automation that how we can add users to public group using a flow so in this process we are going to create a record trigger flow that will auto assign a public group to a users when a user is created with a specific profile id so first let's see what are the public group in salesforce so in Salesforce, public group are sets of users that can be assigned roles and permissions in the bulk, such as giving access to records or assigning sharing values. And they are often used for sharing records, folders or reports and automating this process can save you a lot of time. And like for this scenario, we are having a public group named sales group. And in the record trigger flow, we will define the condition such as when a new user is created with the ID sales team, the user will be assigned to the public group named as sales group. So let me tell you what are the prerequisites to assign a user to a public group using record trigger flow that you should have an active public group in your org. And I will also show you in this video that how you can create a public group and also the user profile ID. And because here we are taking a scenario that if user is created with the sales team profile, then the user will assign to the public group. And the last requirement is that user is supposed to be active. So let's move ahead and see the process of creating the flow through which we will assign a public group to the new user. So as of now, I logged into my Salesforce developer account. And before creating flow, I will tell you how you can create the public group. So if you haven't created a public group, you have to first create one. And for that, you have to go to the quick find box and here search and select public groups. And here under the heading users, you can see the option public groups. So you have to click on it and in the public group, you can see this is the sales group that I have already created and to create a new public group, you have to simply click on this new button. So and here you have to enter the label and the group name for the public group. And then in the search, you have to select the users option and then you will see the list of users available. So from here, you have to select the user and with the help of arrow, you can add the users but i have already created a public group so i am not going to create another one so now we will navigate to the flow setup window where we will see how we can create a flow that will assign a public group to the new user so for that again go to the quick find box and here search and select flows and here under the heading process automation select flows and in the flow setup window you have to click on the new flow button and in this window it is asking us that we want to create the flow from scratch or use a template so we are going to create this flow from scratch. So we will select this option and then click on the next button. And as I've told you in the beginning that we are going to create a record trigger flow. So here we will select the option record trigger flow and then click on the create button. So now in the flow builder, we have to first configure the start of the trigger. So according to the scenario, when a new user will be created with the specific profile ID, then this record will trigger. So for that, we will select the object as user. Here it is and in the trigger condition we have selected a record is created and you can also select a record is created or updated and in the condition requirement I will select the requirement as when a new user is created with the ID of sales team then only this user will be added to the public group. So for that I will select the field as profile ID and operator as equal and the value here is going to be the id of the profile so here is the id of that profile that i have copied and from here where you can get this id you have to go to the profile setup and click on the profiles and then in the profile setup you can see these are the profiles and when you click on any specific profile you can see a id code in the url from here you can copy it so after getting the profile ID of the user, you can copy it from here and then go back to the flow builder and you can paste that ID here. And after configuring the start of the trigger, we will add a get record element to the flow. So for that, click on the plus icon and select get record. So this get record element is for getting the group public group info. So for that, I will enter the label as get group info. And the API name will be auto filled. And now we have to select the object as group, this one. And now we have to set the condition requirement. So the condition requirement I am going to define here as 
that the developer name equals to group names so here the name of the public group is sales group and make sure you have entered the api name from where you can get this api name that uh, like for this you have to go back on the public group setup and in the column group name you can see this is the api name that you have to use in the flows so from here you can copy it and then again go to the flow builder and you can and then you can paste the value here so now we have configured the get record element so this so this element will fetch the details of the public group and after this we have to add a create record element to the flow that will add the user to the public group so for that select the element create records and the label i am going to enter here is add add new user to group and how to set record field values you have to select the option manually and the object is going to be here is group member this one and now we have to set field values for the group member like what are the condition on which the user the new user will be added to the group so here i am going to define field as group id will be equals to group member from the get record element and then group id so here how, how it should look like that uh, it should get the group id of the from the get record element and now we will add the user id so here it is the option user or group id and the value for this is going to be regrim user user id so as of now we have also configured the condition through which the new user with the profile as sales team will be added to the public group so as of now our flow is completed now i will close it from here and now we will save the flow for that click on the save button and here enter the flow label and the flow api name so the flow label i'm going to enter here is add new user to public group and the api name will be autofilled and you can also enter the description for the flow and after entering the flow label and the api name you have to click on the save button and before activating the flow it is always better to test the flow so so for testing the flow we have to debug it and for that we have to click on the debug button we have to select the user so here i have one user that is from the profile which id i have entered in the condition requirements so the user from the profile id sales team is eva adams in my salesforce org so i will select this user and then click on the run button so as you can see the flow is running fine it is showing completed and on the right hand side you can also see the debug details that how interview started how it fetched the group info and how it so as you can see the user in the debug is added to the public group so now we can see the flow is running fine now we can activate the flow for that you have to simply click on this activate button so you can see this message your flow is activated so now we will see the working of the flow in our developer console for that i will navigate to the user setup and according to the conditions requirement we will create a new user with the profile id sales team that is the profile id we entered in the condition requirements so for that i will navigate to the user setup so as of now i am on the profile setup and from here i will navigate to the users setup and click on the users and here i will create a new user and then we will see according to the flow condition that user is adding to the public group or not so to create a new user i will click on the new user button and now we have to enter the all the required fields that are required to create a new user so so here i have to enter all the details So according to the criteria we are going to assign the profile as sales team and after assigning the profile for the new user and entering all the required details we will click on the save button so now you can see the new user is created and from here now we will go back to the public group to see the where whether the user is added to the group or not so here i am navigating to the public groups so this is the public group in which the user should have been added so we will see the group 
and now you can see this is the username that we have created right now so in this way you can add a new user to the public group using a salesforce flow so this was all about it and this is how you can assign a public group to a new users with the specific conditions using a record trigger flow and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video you will get a notification regarding that and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye